Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now we are going to solve this uh, one another problem from chapter 14. The problem says that when the driver applies the brakes for a light truck traveling with a velocity of 40 km per hour, it skids 3 meter before stopping. How far will the truck skid if it is traveling 80 km per hour when the brakes are applied? So let's say that we have two cases. First, I will consider case one. So in case one, the truck is moving initially with a velocity of 40 km per hour. So it is said that it skids three meter before stopping. So before stopping, let's say that this is the initial state of the car. This is the final state of the car. So after applying brake, this car skids three meters. So let me identify that distance from here to here. It skids a distance of three meters. This is S is given as three meters. So in the second case, we need to find that S if the truck is moving with 80 km per hour when the brakes are applied, we need to find that skid distance for case 2. Now if we draw the free body diagram of this truck, so we will have uh, the weight of the truck which is going to act downward. Let me represent that weight. This is the weight and this is mg and the resultant normal force on the wheels is going to act vertically upward. And there will be a friction force, right? So let's say that that friction force is mu k times n. And as we know that the truck is moving in the horizontal direction. So if this is our positive x and y direction. So if I apply the summation of forces along the y axis is equals to m a y. So again, as we know that there is no acceleration in the y direction, so this a y is zero, or from this we can say that the summation of forces along y direction is zero. So now as we can see that this n is acting in the positive y direction, so I will write plus n minus that weight. So this is equal to zero. So from this we can say that n is equal to m g. Similarly, if we want to find uh, that distance, first we need to apply the uh, principle of work and energy. So for case one, let me write that for case one, T1 plus the summation of work done by the external forces is equal to the kinetic energy at point two. So this is our point two, this is our uh, state one, this is our state two. So at state one, the velocity is V1, so 40 kilometer per hour. So we have to convert this velocity into meter per second. So 40 kilometer per hour. So in one kilometer we have thousand meters, and in one hour we have 3600 seconds. So 40 into thousand divided by 3600. 40 into thousand divided by 3600. This gives me 11.11. So this 11.11 meter per second. This is the initial velocity. So now the initial velocity is 40 kilometer per hour. So the kinetic energy at state one will be half and the mass is not given. So we have to write M and V1 square. So V1 square is 11.11 square plus the external force is this friction force. So the work done due to this friction force will be mu k. And again, mu k is not given, mu k, and we know n, which is mg, so mu k times n, which is mg, and the distance traveled, right? The distance traveled is 3 for the first case. So this is 3, and as we know that the distance traveled is in the positive x direction, and the friction force is acting in the negative x direction, so this means that the friction force is doing the negative work, so we have to write minus sign with this. This is the negative work. And this will be equal to, since uh, at state 2, it skids 3 meters before stopping. So it comes to rest. So the velocity at state 2 is 0. So the, kin the kinetic energy at state 2 is 0 as well. So now if I divide this whole equation by the mass, so m will cancel out and we will be left with 11.11 square divided by 2 minus mu k 
g into 3 let me write 3 here as well so this is equal to 0 and if I bring this term to the other side so it will become positive there and from this equation I can write that mu kg is equal to 11.11 square divided by 2 and if I this is 3 mu kg so if I divide both sides by 3 so we will have that 2 multiplied by 3 here so this is 2 multiplied by 3 so from this we can write that the product of mu k times g is that answer that 11.11 square divided by 6 2 into 3 is 6 so this is 20.576 20.576 so this is from case 1 that mu k times g is 20.576 now for case 2 it is said that how far will the truck skid if it is traveling 80 km per hour so now we do not know that s we know the velocity at state 1 that is 80 km per hour so now we need to find this s and again that v2 is 0 since it will come to rest right so again for case 2 that n will remain constant right since uh, the weight is the, the weight remains the same so we can apply we can take that n equals to mg in case 2 as well so now for case 2 again we can write t1 plus the summation of all the work done due to the external forces is equal to the kinetic energy at state 2 now for the case 2 v1 is 80 km per hour so again we need to convert this v1 into uh, meter per second so if 40 km per hour velocity is equal to 11.11 meter per second then 80 km per hour will be equal to uh, twice this right so this is two times so this, that will be 22.22 meter per second so this is for case 2 right let me write that for case 2 the v1 velocity is 22.22 meter per second so now to apply this uh, work energy principle again the kinetic energy at state 1 is half mass times v1 square now v1 is 22.22 square plus again the work done due to the external forces so the only external force is the friction force so that is mu k times n and n is mg and the distance traveled so now the distance traveled is not known we have to multiply by that s and this is equal to t2 so it will come to rest it will stop after skidding so the kinetic energy at state 2 will be equal to 0 for case 2 as well so now and again the work done due to the friction force will be negative remember since the direction of the displacement and the direction of the force they are acting in the opposite direction so the work done will be negative in this case so now if I bring if I multiply this plus with minus so this will become minus and if I bring this to the other side of equation so it will become positive so I can write it like this and now from uh, if we divide both sides of equation by mass so mass will cancel out so now from this equation we can say that s is equal to uh, this 1 divided by 2 22.22 square divided by mu k g mu k times g and from the first case we know that the product of mu k times g is 20.576 so from this the skid distance is equal to 1 divided by 2 22.22 squared divided by mu k times g which is 20.576 so this is 22.22 uh, squared divided by 2 multiplied by 20.576 So this gives us the skid distance equals to approximately uh, 12 meters. So for case 2 if the truck is moving with the initial velocity of 80 km per hour so it will take 12 meters to come to rest. So for in the comparison we can see that in the first case the truck was moving with a velocity of 40 km per hour which is half the velocity of case 2 but the skid distance for that case was uh, 3 meters. and and doubling the velocity and uh, multiplying the velocity by twice the distance increased by 
four times, right? That S is equal to 12 meters. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. If it helps in your learning, kindly subscribe my channel and like this video. Uh, if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics Chapter 14.